What's good YouTube? In this video we'll be taking a look at all of the touch gestures that you can use on the touchpad for the M1 MacBook Air. This should work on most newer versions of the MacBook, including the 16 and 15 and 13 inch versions of the MacBook Pro as well. If you like this kind of content or find this kind of content helpful, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. So the first gesture that we'll go over is using two fingers to swipe to navigate back and forward on a web browser. So if you open up a web browser like Safari or Chrome, if you swipe to the right using two fingers on the trackpad like so you actually go back and similarly if you swipe right you'll go forward to the last page that you were on this of course mimics the same behavior found by swiping left and right on the iPhone to navigate back and forward on your browser as well next gesture is of course the traditional right click on a Mac so to right click on the trackpad on the M1 MacBook Air, you just simply tap down with two fingers. Here you'll find the right click options loading up as if you were right clicking on a mouse. Next we'll go over scrolling. So you can scroll up and down pages or apps by using two fingers and you can scroll down by swiping up and scroll up by swiping down. How how far you swipe determines how much of the scroll there is. Using the two fingers, you can zoom in on a compatible app or web page by pinching outwards with two fingers. Similarly, if you pinch back inwards, you'll zoom back out to the normal zoom level. You can do this multiple times if you want to zoom in very closely on a particular part of a page. Screen in an app, you can actually swipe very quickly and switch between apps using a gesture as well. If you want to swipe between applications, you can do so by using three fingers. So if you have more than one application up, you can use three fingers and swipe left or right on the trackpad to switch between different applications. This is really helpful for multitasking and when you have more than one application running at one time. So as you can see here, I can switch between multiple apps by swiping left or right with three fingers. Next is Notification Center. If you swipe from the edge on the right side of the trackpad and swipe left, you can quickly access your Notification Center, similarly to swiping down on an iPhone. This is quite handy as if you want to quickly access your notifications, you can do so by just swiping left from the right edge of your trackpad. Similarly, you can access Mission Control and your apps very easily. To do so, what you want to do is swipe up on the trackpad using three fingers. From here, you can access your Mission Control dashboard and quickly go over the open apps that you have. Next is Launchpad. So if you pinch with your thumb inwards with your thumb and three fingers, you can quickly access your launch pad and your available apps. This is quite handy if you want to launch an app from within another app and you don't want to interrupt where you are within that app. Finally, we have show desktop. This is the opposite gesture from launch pad. So to show your desktop, what you want to do is pinch outward with three fingers and your thumb. And from there, you can get right to your desktop. This is quite a handy feature if you have apps or files that you use quite often on your desktop. So there you have it everyone, some very streamlined app shortcuts and gestures that you can use for the M1 MacBook Air as well as the M1 MacBook Pros. Apple's trackpad is second to none and the software and hardware integration is really sublime as it's been developed over the years and hopefully these gestures will make it even better. So if you found this kind of content helpful, leave a message down below.